Hello, a warm welcome to you all. Now we will see the sequential operation of the induction motors to this ladder logic diagram. So here you can see that the motor one. The ladder logic diagram for motor 1 is here and the motor for motor 2 the diagram is here and the motor for motor 3 the diagram is here so at first you can see that the stop push button as, uh, which is NC type is here and the start push button which is NO type is here and here we can see that the cycle on that is a function lock in the PLC software so this one you can consider it as the main contactor and the auxiliary contact of this main contactor is at here this one this one and this one these are the auxiliary contact of the main contactor that is here okay this one is the contactor for motor 1 this one is the contactor for motor 2 and this one is the contactor for motor 3 these are the two timer okay. that is T1 and T2 ok here PT means the reset time and ET means elapsed time ok so here can see that the power will flow the stop push button because it is NC type so power will be able to flow that is current will be able to flow through this and here the current will not be able to flow unless and until the momentary type push button is pressed okay so when the push button is pressed at that time the current will be able to flow through this path and this main contact coil of this main contactor will energize okay when the contactor of this main contactor the coil of this main contactor is energized at that same time the auxiliary contacts this one this one and this one will also energized okay so this no type becomes nc type at that point and as this is a momentary type push button as i told it so the when it is released when the push button is released then it will become again the normally open type no type okay so the power will no current will not be able to flow through this path current will flow through this path okay. this path so the main contactor will remain energized unless and until the stop push button is pressed that is if i press the stop push button then the nc type become no type okay at that point the uh, main contactor will be energized and the auxiliary contacts will also change their states and go back to its original state that is NO ok now as this is energized so this one is also uh, NC type that is close, con close path so the current will flow through this path this the main contactor will remain energized and this is known as the this one is known as the latching okay. latching contact which is in parallel with the start push button now the current will flow through this path and as well as the current will flow through this path also so if the current is flow through uh, through, uh, through this coil of this contactor for motor 1 the motor 1 contactor will uh, remain as uh, will be energized and the power contacts of this contactor will change their state from NO to NC so the motor one will start running now as this is this coil is energized so this will become NC type from NO and this one is also uh, as uh, running as uh, this one is also in NC state 
so the current will also flow through this path up to this up to this t1 in terminal so when the in terminal uh, senses the current then the as per the preset time is 5 second the timer will start counting the time and it will show here how much time is elapsed over here and after 5 second this timer will provide the output to from this q that is output terminal of the timer t1 so when the timer t1 provides its output then the contactor coil for motor 2 will energized and the, again in the power circuit diagram we can see we will be able to see that the power contacts will change their states from NO to NC and the motor 2 will start running again the same thing will happen as this one is kept as uh, kept as uh, on so the auxiliary contact this one will now act as NC uh, in, will stay at NC state that is close contact so the current will be able to flow through this path as this contactor is also energized so this one is also act as normally close contact path so the current will be able to current will be able to current will be able to flow through this path up to this in terminal of t2 timer t2 and as per the preset time that is 5 second as settled over here so the uh, it will count the elapsed elapsed time and it will show over here and after 5 second timer t2 will start providing its output the on uh, and the coil of the contactor one also be energized So as this contactor for motor 3 is energized, so in the power circuit it will reflect the same like the power contacts will become NC from NO and the motor 3 will start running. This is how the sequential operation takes place. Okay. So at first the motor 1 will start. And then the motor 2 will start the motor 3 will start after another 5 second so from this diagram you can easily you will be able you, you will be easily understand you will be easily able to understand that how the sequential operation takes place and from by and if, how can you express the sequential operation through this ladder logic diagram okay thank you